Tibetans in Rebkong, in the rolling hills of China's Qinghai province, believe that every mountain has a spirit who watches over the region. During the festival of Lurol, which falls during the sixth lunar month, the spirits appear among the worshipping villagers. Ami Shatong is the most sacred mountain spirit in the region. He enters into the body of his medium, Dang Sanban, to celebrate the festival. <laughs> The Rebkom region preserves a strong animist tradition stemming from the Bon religion practiced by Tibetans before Buddhism was introduced. While monks and lamas try to achieve enlightenment, Tibetan people have a strong attachment to mountain deities and local oracles. In Rebkom, villages have unique dances in which all young men participate while the mediums channel the spirits. Ami Mohun is the local warrior spirit. When the spirit goes into the medium's body, the medium's blood becomes the sacrifice. He cuts his forehead with a knife and smears the blood on worshippers to heal them. Men from the villages have their cheeks pierced with steel needles to excise disease from the mouth. <laughs> Ami Shachong and his medium, Dang Chanban, are invited to surrounding villages so the spirits can visit each other during the festival. To prepare for the festival, the medium Dan Sanban listens to living Buddhists chant scriptures for seven days. The 39-year-old, who has been a medium for 20 years, cannot drink or smoke and must avoid women during those seven days. He pairs his long hair and dresses in special clothes, then waits for the spirit to possess him as people call out the spirit's name. With a scream, the spirit comes. When the spirit leaves him, Dang Sanban returns to his normal self with no memory of his trance. He likes to have a beer or liquor in hand. He often cooks for his wife, who is a Han Chinese. Without the spirit possessing him, his dance movements are loose and graceful. <laughs> Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da.